Now, this is how they extract jurisdiction out of you. So you get this notice from another state and they're saying that you got to enter into the state and the language is very vague and it's very soft. So let's like use my case. When they contacted me, my defense was you have no jurisdiction over me. I am not a state of New York. I'm not a resident of New York, blah, 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 blah. And they just kind of like went over that and understand you go to court. They're just going to gloss over that because the presumption is that you should pay child support. It is a social construct. It's not a legal construct, but it's a social construct. So they'll say, do you understand your rights and do you agree? That's what's called inferred consent. And they got you. So you have to be. I do not agree. I do not consent. I am only here as a legal remedy of prevention and stuff like that. You do not give them do not agree fight them do not even send any paperwork because any of those actions are granting consent if you didn't consent why would you send your financial statement if you didn't consent why would you send your pay stubs any one of those acts is consent and that's how insidious this is now they call you up and they they're going to be very intimidating because most of the time most people don't go to court so it's going to be very very stressful so one of the things you have to do is calm your nerves before you get on the phone. And this is the magic language that you must use. You have no jurisdiction over me. I did not abuse her. There's no police report. And I want this case against me dismissed. And if you do not dismiss this case, I want in writing why you're not going to dismiss this case. See, because if it's in writing, it goes on the record. It goes on the record. It goes on the docket. And therefore, you have a written thing to... Um, what is it called? Hold on to appeal. You have something to appeal, but long as it's verbal and you have no court monitor, you know, as transcriptionist, there's no verbal record. There's nothing to appeal. So once that judgment is rendered, you're screwed. So that's why you ask. And usually these things are taped and monitored and just be quiet because she's going to sit there. Or he's going to sit there and they're like, this one, mm -mm, this ain't worth this because this is going to be some trouble because he knows his rights. Because 99% of the men that go before a court of child support do not know their rights, do not even have a clue to their rights. And a lot of these judges know this and they often break the rules, which is in your favor if you know what's going on. So uh, there's one guy who went to a child support course. He was in Texas and he said those magic words. He's like, look, if you're not going to dismiss this, please tell me in writing why you're not dismissing. Then they disappeared for about five minutes, came back, <laughs> dismissed. Because the thing is, you got to understand, so many men don't know their rights that they're abused every day. And no one really cares because no one knows their rights.